fit in with the crowd. It's not worth it. One of the things I often say to buy is to buy vintage. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. As you guys know on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could also be imperfectly sustainable. So today we are going to dive into the concept of the it bag. What does an it bag mean for you? Well, if you have ever heard of the name Jane Birkin, Coco Chanel, Grace Kelly, you've heard of those three beautiful women, then you would have a sense of what the it bag should mean. An it bag is supposedly a highly priced, very high tier, expensive high-end bag. Initially, these it bags became it bags because they were named after actresses or even the founder herself, for example, Coco Chanel. As you know, in many instances, the expensive bags were often um, worn by celebrities and still is today. But the top tier YouTubers have joined that circle and they are creating that movement, that drive, that demand for the it bag. Oftentimes, it's exclusive to those of the upper tiers um, income bracket. You're not even supposed to even look at it if you're in the lower tier. You feel scared of even looking at it. But let's redefine an it bag. While that is great for those who have the money, don't ever, and I repeat, ever feel that you cannot own an it bag. By that I mean, you need to redefine what an it bag is for you. For me, a definition of an it bag, one, it's made from great sturdy material, natural. Two, it's something that gets me excited and it's not necessarily because I've seen it being worn by a celebrity or a content creator. No, it's often when I have found my it bags and I said bags because my definition of an it bag, as you would note, is different. When I have found them in the past, I often bounce into them by accident, by just wandering into a store. So, as I mentioned, it has to be made from natural materials. I have to see the many different ways as well as events where I could wear this bag mm -hmm. and I have to get excited about this bag every single time I think about it or see it and oftentimes my it bags are not necessarily impulse buys although sometimes I may have bought an item on an impulse but not quite because I often think and look beyond what I think the multiple uses of an item that I buy, be it clothes or bags. So my it bag must have multiple uses. It's not going to be confined to one season. Uh, uh, no, no, no. And oftentimes it's in a color that I absolutely love. Another common feature of my it bag is for me it would be timeless or classic and trust me my classic may not be your classic for some people green is not a classic most people's classic color is black but my classic 
is different. You cannot tell me what is my classic. I know what I'm going to be wearing over and over again. And it also has to be at a price point I'm very comfortable with. <laughs> and so guys, I'm going to introduce you today to my it bag. This is it. This bag I got second hand. And the second I saw it, guys, I fell hard for this bag. But if you see a vintage item that you absolutely love, that you have been craving for, buy it. Buy it. That to me is luxury. That you see something that you absolutely love, that you have been wanting for years. For example, I've always wanted a really nice green bag because green is my favorite color. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my it bag and it's here to stay with me forever. It's going to be paired with every single thing in my closet. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something out of my nightmares, standing right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, then will you get bored of killing me? Silhouettes of you are like a taunt, never really know just what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel it. It was absolutely beyond my price point at the time. But for some reason, it kept resurfacing into my mind. And one of the instincts was okay, I would never be able to achieve that bag, so let me move on. But I was able to because. I reached out privately to the person on Instagram and I was able to get this bag at a reduced price. And guys, I love this bag so much because it's in one of my favorite colors and it's just absolutely stunning. Seriously, it's big enough and well, it's tough right now. And this is a piece that was bought from the real real. I love this piece the second I saw it. And oh my God. Ah, that's why I say to you that nobody should define my it bag for me. My it bag is a bag that I wanted in my color. It, it didn't matter to me what brand. As long as I fall in love with it and it's really nice. I do have... A gre another green bag by Michael Kors and I've been wearing that back to death it goes with me everywhere and it's more of a work bag but this bag I can wear to work anywhere that I choose to and I absolutely love it yes it may not be everybody's it bag but it's mine so oftentimes we tend to close ourselves in a box to say, oh, my it bag must be an Hermes and it, it has to be black. Just like that person over there, just like that person there, she has her it bag. I love her it. Do you really love her it bag? Or are you being influenced? You need to know the difference. And of course, always check the secondhand market. And don't let yourself be defined by what you have in your closet. No, being stylish is different than having the world of items in your closet. You could use whatever you have and be stylish with it. Yes, I often propose that if you want something to last, check for quality. I'm not going to lie. I love a great leather bag. And while there are issues with where brands get their leathers from, it's one of the main reasons why I shop secondhand because it's not 
raw materials that's being produced and if i do buy new i look at the company and i do some research to ensure that these bags are made from hides from the meat industry and that the animals are not just red for their hides so there's a difference there and yes this is a gucci piece but prior to me getting this bag my it bags were these and these share the same qualities that this bag also has these were my it bags and you would note something in common green is a common <laughs> element it's a common color among my it bags and even to this day these bags remain my it bags because i am getting multiple uses out of these bags and some of them have been with me for over 18 to 20 years absolutely absolutely love them and guys as mentioned with the exception of this all of these pieces were bought at a regular store i still get excited about seeing them today i still get multiple uses out of them and with the exception of this one they're all made from leather and they look almost as brand new as the day i got them so guys don't limit yourself to the definition that an it bag has to be very high end it has to come from one of the major brands and that if you can't afford it you feel so excluded you feel like you don't have any fashion sense guys most of these bags that have lasted to date were between hundred dollars some sixty nine dollars yeah within that income bracket you define what your it bag is don't let the fashion industry tell you what it is and have you running all over the globe to look for a bag or, or making you have to buy multiple items so that you build up your history with the brand in order for you to, to get a bag please you do you buy a bag that would not only work for you but is within your bracket and don't ever ever feel excluded if you do want one of those top tiered bags you could absolutely find them on the second hand market and don't be price gouged negotiate and get your money's worth because oftentimes you find that some sellers could really inflate their prices for their bags because they think it's the it brand or it's the it bag but don't ever be swayed by that buy what you love and always negotiate seriously it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg think the telfa bag it has become an it bag it's very affordable and if you like it absolutely go for it at the same time if you don't like it that may not be your it bag and another issue with the definition of the fashion industry's it bag when it's being toted or when it's being promoted by all these content creators and celebrities who often get it for free it makes you feel like you have to get it so that you could be as cool as they are that is not a rabbit hole you want to go down honestly they got it for free most times or at discount prices or because they purchase so much because it's their job they often get it discounted 
Don't do that to yourself. Actually, this inflated price for these bags that has triggered the replica industry. And while some brands may get the intellectual property rights to slap their names legitimately on a lookalike, on a dupe, some do not, but they're out there making it available and accessible for any income bracket. Who am I to tell you? If you like a bag that's replicated, whether it's by Michael Kors, by Rebecca Mink, I hope that you are open to what I have to say and that you don't feel pressured into spending the last of what you're earning <laughs> on a bag that has a name assigned to it that may not even be paying their work as well, that may not be even treating their customers well. Consider where you put your hard on money. Consider the brand that you support before you go out there and start rushing into the next it bag because it never ends. It's a vicious cycle. There would always be a supposedly it bag. You choose yours and you do it within your own time frame. When you have the money, do not let the fashion industry dictate what you would call your it bag. So I hope that you are inspired. I hope that this is helpful and love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain of